probably going to do is expand this thing the whole way out. Like most of this will be a one big farm. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Primate. It's now up to the seven days today. We're in the other episode. We're grotting for survival. So today we've got a couple of objectives. Number one, we've got to build the farm. We need to get food ground. We need, we're always low on food. So we need to get a food growing and continuously get the crops. Number two, we're going to do the forging room down in the mine. So what I did do in the background, as you can see, it's kind of been uh, four or five in-game hours since we last met. Um, I've plucked this down and all oh, they're ready. I've been making sure they're wooden pillars. Uh, for two reasons a we want them for the bottom of this farm it's going to be a wooden farm kind of like the the wood natural textures for the farm um, and secondly we need to start making a fencing that's going to go around the base so we're going to work on this at the moment what we're going to do secondly is build a kind of kind of doorway which isn't going to be a doorway you'll see after um, if you haven't seen this grind lapse i'll put it down in the description below um down in this mine we've got like a little area there we go a little area i want to build like a solid concrete room in there shove like nine ten whatever forges down there just smelt and smelt and smelt so as you can see we can be living in a cobblestone house and if screamers do come they're going down there they're not coming to a house they're going down there we've got some turrets we can put turrets in there so yeah it's gonna keep everything away from us apart from the wandering hordes and that's what we want so as i say uh farm today forging room maybe we're gonna be on the fencing before we start something i'm going to tell you is if you if you didn't see a previous episode Went to get some wood all these trees are one hit point trees where we started this world in an old update and we moved and we, and we updated to the new one every tree hit or most trees hit once it's gone there's no sustainable wood so i've planted just over there i think it was 21 or 22 trees so we've got some sort of sustainable wood coming because we're gonna need a lot for what i've got planned um as i say this whole area is me covered in like an old school medieval palisade wooden fence um i've played with some designs off camera so it's gonna be pretty cool and we need a lot of wood so with the chains already tons of gas oh do i hear a zombie oh, no, i'm out of breath because I was, I was aiming never mind anyway i'm rambling let's get on with this thing so i haven't really had an idea of what we're going to build today um this is kind of going off the bat just kind of off the whim um and we're going to hope for the best really <laughs> so let's do that i do know what stairs here again we're keeping with the wooden fit theme textures because uh yeah it's um you know it's a it's a farm so <laughs> that's what we're gonna go with today so you know pop up and it's, it's gonna be like a little um like a pontoon kind of thing so I'm not worried too much about structure integrity it's more oh, not worried but it's more about the look we're looking pretty good so one two three about there it's at the end so one two three bang uh probably one more up bang bang one two three boom and one two three so that's gonna be the start of it this is where we're gonna start a little uh a little piece from oh bang bang again i've never really done a building episode so uh do bear with me <laughs> do bear with so yeah a bit of an idea uh i'll probably have to change these stairs that's kind of the height i want it like a little a little raised bed you know so that's what i'm going with for the moment um i've got tons of wood i have say tons two thousand which isn't that much but the idea of planting the trees now is once we finish this building and a few other loot episodes next and so forth all that be grown and we can just you know back and forward back and forward rinse and repeat anyway so moving this forward what i'm thinking is this will be the base of our little area i'll definitely have to change those steps they're a little bit low because there's something like this i'll probably end up changing this first little bit because again this is off the wind we're, we're doing this as we go head up here and then up here we're gonna have a few lines and rows of food and that so we're gonna have like a raised bed say like there the farm plot then just some wood and then a farm plot uh hard to explain so it's kind of taking shape all we're really doing is as i say making this big platform uh again i'm kind of going off the whim so i don't really know what i'm building just yet i kind of got the idea in my head but how it's going to be built i don't know we are going to reinforce the bottom to cobblestone or even concrete because no one's really going to see it but we may paint it back to wood i'm just testing it and trying it as we go okay just find another rotation bang there we go so this is what we've got so far just literally a big pontoon <laughs> that's really do you know what we'll leave that for now actually that's it so now we've got something to go by again we're going to paint it and i'll probably upgrade all this bottom to you know like the next level up by this that's a bit more stronger but i do really want to keep the, the wood look i really want to keep the wood look for like the farm natural nature kind of build you, you get the idea so what i'm gonna do now is get these farm crop plots farm plots farm plots down bang bang actually we'll replace that with that change that to this because so where is it Okay, I've put it evenly, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, no, no, we'll be okay, actually. We'll be okay. So we'll come up and say, like, not there, about there? Let's just do that. Let's just get planted. One, two, three, four, 
five. Miss a space. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, I should have I should have put this uneven because it's not going to look too good now. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, one, two, three, four, five. So that's kind of what we've got going on at the moment. Obviously, I can put things in. And what I want to do is fill, is fill, fill the center up. So I want to be able to just run over them as I'm planting them. I don't want to have to hit, 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 jump over. So I'm going to fill the center piece in. And also around the edges as well. Bang, bang. And we could leave the edges out for more. Because at the minute we've got zero, like no points into uh, living off the land. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got three points from Horde. Let's have a check. I've got one. That just gives you golden rod. See, this is what we really need. So we can craft vegetables. That's really what we need. But that's level five. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's all our points. I don't really want to go there yet. Let's, let's leave it for now. What we are going to be aiming to do now is we've got a little bit of food, but we can't make the seeds for them. So we either A, buy the seeds, probably loot the seeds, what we're going to try and do. If we don't loot them by next horde, I'm going to spec all of my points into live off the land until we can start crafting seeds. Although we it's frustrating because I'm putting my points in all different stuff. <laughs> oh, we can craft corn seeds. Okay. And aloe. We may as well start with corn. I do want the potato seed and then we're good. Okay, let's go see what seeds we do have. Let's check that first. Let's go see what seeds we do have. Whilst we're here, we will actually eat and drink something. A bit of bacon eggs. And a little bit of red tea. So as you can see, we do have one seed. Bang. Bang. Uh, one of these seeds, one pumpkin seeds. We may as well plant the yucca for now. Blueberry seeds. So we've got no potato seeds. That's kind of what I was after for the meat shoes and that, you know. But let's just... Recipes. How many can we make? 15. Let's just do another 9. So at least we've got a ton of corn coming in for now. You know, something's better than nothing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Bang. Let's put that jar back. Boom. And what I'll probably do is plant the rest of these trees at some point today as well. But we'll do that a bit later. But now let's get all of these bad boys planted. Bang, bang, bang. So corn can go on the left. Bang, 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 bang. Sustainable food. What I like about seven days is the sustainability. Like shotgun is the most, in my opinion, the most sustainable weapon. Because it takes glue and like gunpowder and all that stuff you can make yourself. Whereas obviously brass, you can't make yourself. You have to go and physically, like, get the um, get the brass to smell, or go and get the, the um, sorry, get the brass to smell, or go and get like door handles, or go and find the things. Whereas glue, you just get from animals, and you get from you know. I've always got glue. But I find kind of shotgun the easiest thing to loot. So, okay, we have seeds on the go. We throw corn on the go. We have a, a one pumpkin, one potato, a oh, blue raisin, some yucca. What I may do is just, once we get a couple lots of these, I may just make a whole farm full of corn, get it two or three or four times until the potatoes come, or we get the potato seed, keep the potatoes until we get the potato seed schematic or we unlock it, and I just mass produce those, and that should be good. So all I'm going to do now off camera real quick is 1900, it's just upgrade all of this to like reinforced. Just quickly do that, just so it's done, and you know, it's, it's a... It doesn't get destroyed by zombies basically. So let me quickly do that and I'll bring you back we head down to do the forge room downstairs. Okay, so there we have it, our nice little farm, a few bits of food ground. We're obviously gonna expand it. What we're kind of probably gonna do is expand this thing the whole way out. Like most of this will be a one big farm. We can kind of come along swooping get our stuff, you know, grab it all, let it regrow, just grab it again and again, and we can swatch swip and change swap and change whenever we need to. But yeah, that, that's the start of something special. That's gonna be a nice big farm. Again, we're going to that kind of medieval look, uh, which we work on the base fairly soon. So what we need now is to work on the kind of entrance and the forge room. We're going to go build a load of forges. I set this up a moment ago. This is where the Palisade fence is going to be. So all this, I'm going to dig out all this area here, some of this down here. We kind of get the idea of what's going to happen. This fence will probably be about five or six high. Let's actually mark it out now. Bang, bang. And I'm kind of playing around with shapes for the top. I don't want to just have a circular top if we have to yeah fair enough but in alpha like 14 15 16 all those little um spikes that we turn upside down and hurt the zombies with they would have gone perfect on top but we don't, do, they don't do them in here anymore not on, not on alpha 18 anyway so from in here this is what it's gonna look like 
there'll be a fence like that going the whole way around there, around there, entrance over here, around there, and then entrance, and we're going to build a huge pathway to the trail, which is just over there, just that way. All this will level, all this ground here is going to be leveled out flat. That's where we're going to get our clay from. Um, obviously, in here is where we're going to get our stone from. All this here will be leveled as well. Hopefully, you get any idea of what's going on ahead now. But this fence here does look good. I kind of prefer it darker it looks more you know like it's been there for a long time and it's dirty so i'm gonna upgrade a couple and do me a favor what do you like what looks better do you prefer let me fix this as so free and free bang 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 so you got these three here kind of a cleanish look does look nice or this which is a bit more more going on but it looks dirtier i kind of think when there's a lot of them it might look better like this but this texture is quite good dirty. It kind of looks like the, the fort's been there a long time, you know. So what do you think? Do you like the clean version or do you like the dirty version? Well, as I say, clean or dirty or not upgraded, not upgraded. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Whichever one you prefer, whichever you sort of prefer more of or the more, the more votes, we'll go for that one. So yeah, let me know. Uh, clean version or dirty? Okay, I'm just burning the last bit out of the forges, collecting a couple of bits. So we made one, two, five and one, and four. So made a load of jars. Um, we're running out of blocks, so let's quickly grab the wood from in here. We can put these back now. Bang. A bit of wood. I'll make us a couple of frames. Something like 80 or 90 will do, yeah. And we don't need no more, so we're running out of wood a little bit, but we have got the trees growing, which is good. Um, as you can see, I have picked up three wall frames and a little bit of concrete, because now we're coming down into the mine. Have I got the... Oh, that's for, is that for iron or stone? Ah, do you know what? Let's just get in there. No rushing ahead of myself forge is what do we need to buy to build a forge we need stone clay leather duct tape short iron pipes uh, duct tape and leather S clay stone and short iron pipes was it yes so forge how many can we make 10 we've got three let's make another oh, not 10 let's make another six nine should be okay for now yeah, that should, that should do for the time being anyway. We'll dump these back in here. Right, let's head downstairs. And what we're going to do is section out this little area and basically build a, a nice little solid area. So when screamers do come, there'll be this side of the fence. They'll literally be on this side and they'll be looking to go down this hole, not coming to the base that we're at. And they'll head down here. When they get about here and they're coming down to our little area, we'll have turrets looking up and pop, 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 it'll kill them. So this is the area I had in mind just down here. Uh, this is where I went flat. So what we're going to do is I need to do a little bit of digging again. I'm just going to quickly dig this out real quick. And then we are going to build us a little forge room. We do have, need a little bit of time for these crafts. Six minutes. I'll spend these six minutes just clearing this area. And yeah, we'll make this forge room. So here's our tunnel. It's not perfect. I'm going to make it all nice eventually right now. It's just something to get done, as you know. We're not at the point yet where we want to perfect things and make things really, you know, like architecturally nice or pleasing to the eye. We're just here to get things done and get it, you know, sorted and there. And yeah, anyway, so <laughs> moving on swiftly. I'm going to quickly lay the floor down. And the idea is we're going to have forges either side of this room. And it's going to be a nice secure location, as I say, where we can come, throw all our stone in, our lead, and everything else, and not have to worry about it because the scrims will come down and they will die. So it will be something. No, actually, we'll change that to a ramp. Bang, like that. Uh, yes, bang. Let's upgrade this. Oh, just getting a skill point. I actually didn't make the walls uh, far enough apart. So I've had to dig in another little layer in the wall and I'm just upgrading them just now as you can see. So yeah, I've made it that wide. I actually stopped here not thinking it needs to be a further block back because obviously the forge takes up a room, doesn't it? So I've moved it back a little bit. I'm going to do the same to this side here. But yeah, you, you get an idea of what we're going to have now. So there'll be a door and everything here. We're going to come down here, shoot in this door. Forge is filling this side of the room. Forge is awesome. That makes it filling the other side as well. We come through another door, go through here away and mine and the idea is mining away from the base if we're here mining for example and it's born a wandering horde we'll be so far away from the base that when it walks over the top of us it tries to dig down you know and we run back to base over there we're nowhere near where the horde or the, or the scream is spawning and if screamer spawns here it comes down here it hopefully keeps all the danger away from our base we're going to be in a cobblestone or flagstone base so we don't want the danger of screamers and hordes coming to the base we want to keep them away so again i'm just going to finish up this little bit here uh, I've got to go another layer and I'll bring you back when we're plonking the furnaces and filling them up with some good stuff. Okay, so just finish off the last pieces of the exit slash entrance to the mine. Three, two, one, bang. So we're going to have a door here. We could actually get this last bit out. 
and throw just one more frame in there. Boom. So this is the hot box. This is our smelting room. All strained already. This is basically it, again. We can expect we can expand this. We can get bigger. We can do anything with it. For now, this is just going to be perfect for what we need. We're going to throw a door in here where things come down, and we're going to come in here, shut the door behind us, and then obviously another one here so we can go out and mine that way, as I say. But for now, for now, bang, bang. Let's leave some stuff on the hot bar just in case something comes down. So, bang. Two, three, four. I'll probably leave that open for some storage, I'm thinking. So we'll throw the ones just on top. And I'm going to make two more. I'll put two more to put there. I could maybe make a four more. Yeah, I'll make six more. I don't know if we'll use them all, but we'll make them anyway. Uh, six more. We'll have one designated for like glass, one for bulletproof glass, one for steel, one for lead. All that kind of stuff. We'll designate each one of them and we'll just start hammering them out once we go grinding. Okay, what I'm probably going to do is one, two, three. I'll probably have some mixes there on the side. It is a bit crowded, I know. But again, we could... We can change to anything we need to. If you hear any noise in the background, that's the washing machine. I apologize. It's the only time I've had to record. <laughs> so if you can hear anything in the background, I apologize. Mm, sorry, probably just cut that short there. The chem station we're going to leave up at base because put glue in there and gunpowder and stuff. And I'll probably leave it there for now and do a different room. It's somewhere in the base for the for the um for the workbench. But as long as these all these forges down here, we should be good. So let's go a couple doors. Let's go get a couple doors for this place and we'll come back and plonk them on. And uh, yeah, bring the cement mixer down as well. Steel, glue, mechanical parts. I always miss these because they change. Mechanical parts, spring. Right, we need to make this before we do anything else. I keep forgetting the chain mod. Fantastic mod, best thing. If you missed how much steel we got here, again, it's the previous video. It was the horde video. I'll link in the top right corner. It was in a great horde. Worked pretty well. We learned some things about the horde base and all the forge still got uh, smelted in. So that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, what we lack at the moment is cloth as usual. Yeah. A ton of forged iron, a load of glue. We probably will actually quickly turn this as well into some duct tape whilst we're here. And whilst that's crafting, uh, 44 seconds. Can we pick you up now? We should be able to. Uh, we have no land claim block here. Why have we got... Oh, it's at the base, isn't it? Right, let's quickly make a land claim block. Land claim. Bang. Okay. And you've got 30 seconds. Can I pick you up? I probably can. Will you fall down? That is the question. Hmm. Okay. Again, I know I'm cutting a lot this episode, but there's so many little things to do. It takes time. So let me quickly talk some account in here. Pick all, I'll bring you back when I'm picking all these up and I'll bring you back to the stairs and place them and get things done. Okay, so the mod's ready. I'm gonna take off the weighted head mod and put on the metal chain. Let me show you why. This one has uh, it adds a chance to stun and slow the victims. This one, 10% chance to knock down your opponents. I'd much rather knock them down have them down and you know taken care of or able to hit while deal with others or kill them then you know add the chance so that mod is a fantastic mod yeah uh pretty happy with that i'm not gonna lie okay cool i'm gonna i'm gonna carry on i'll bring you back in two secs okay so i'm just gonna plonk this just outside right there just so we can pick this up hey i've emptied the, everything out the top box i, I don't think it'll fall because obviously support side but the other day i picked something up in a, in a different playthrough and the campfire fell down and broke and i had beakers in there and everything so i don't want to risk it so i'm just keeping it on to see if this happens you can see as well i don't think it'll drop no it didn't okay so there you go proving to put in it doesn't drop but nonetheless okay that can stay there i need to pick these forges up now don't i so let's get these picked up okay i didn't smelt the clay out of this one like an idiot never mind uh, this one can just be picked up so turn off that might losing a couple of small bits in there so you can get picked up and we'll drop these two down whilst the other one burns out all its clay Okay, luckily, bottom right-hand corner, it gives you your crucible back. I didn't even think about taking it out of there. Luckily, luckily, it does, I confirm, it does give you a crucible when you pick up the forge. That could have been hell if it didn't. My gosh. Okay, you've got, oh, 10 minutes. Okay, cool. We have put the chain mud on there, as I say. Boom. Nice desk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need a couple of doors. Iron door, would you take? Ah, just forged iron. Okay, that'll do for now. Would you make me a couple of door, please? What's the next one up? Is it still door? It is, isn't it? Mm. I am unable to see you. Door. Our oh, vault door. Yeah, I don't really want to be using... We don't really need that, to be honest. All powered. Not bad. Yeah, we just need standard. Standard's fine for now. Okay, two minutes for that as well. Okay, looks like I'm going to stick around here for a little bit. There's not much else for me to do. Let me get these up. Uh, do you know what? Let's, let's just run them down. Let's just run them down. So lighting-wise as well, um, I'm going to be putting 
some sort of light around here. What I'm thinking, and tell me if you think any differently or if you have any suggestions, torches or candles. I'm gonna put a little post with like torches and candles around. Again, we're going for like a, a medieval kind of, you know, kind of theme. So if you can think of anything kind of medieval-y um, or have any suggestions, drop me a, um, a mention on Twitter or on Instagram, follow me on both of them if you wish to, uh, or any pictures, just drop, drop me a picture. Any suggestions that you think might look quite good, uh, and we'll, we'll roll with it. If not, I'll just think of something. I'm thinking just kind of, kind of like a lantern kind of look. But yeah. Anyway, we'll go with that nearer the time. Let's drop these in here. Bang and bang. Now we have a ton of these up there, which we've looted. We've done a lot of looting. So these first ones here, these will be our crucible babies. These will be for steel. These four will be for cement. We can also get iron out of them as when we need them. But these four will be cement. This will be bullets, and this will be for casings. Something along those lines, anyway. Let's add this up here whilst we can. And as for the cement mixer, have these. I, I know it's a bit claustrophobic. I know it's very tight. Uh, but that's what we want. We want to come down this little tight area, as always. We like small, tight things. <laughs> we like small, tight things. And this is where the, the turrets will be facing up here. So if they do come down, they're going to try and bang on the door. They're going to get annihilated by the turrets. If they get through, something happens right from down here, and a rolling hawk comes running down with a load of soldiers. Well, they raid at his zombies and they do get through here. I've just got to get my gun out, spray this little area and just kill them all. So yeah, that's that's the plan. Okay, so as you can see, I have got my work out of me. In the background, I'm going to be, you know, leveling out some of the ground. I'm not going to see you through leveling out some of the ground. I'll level out all this bit over here, some of this over here. I'll start work on the fence as well. Um, and if you do prefer it upgraded, again, let me know below. The question of the day is, do you prefer normal fences, which are those ones there? Or do you prefer the upgraded ones, which are a bit more busy, but a bit more dirtier? So I kind of like the clean ones for the long way, but I kind of like the dirty versions. I, I am kind of between the two. Please tell me what you think. Question day. Do you prefer the clean version or the dirty version? And we'll roll with that the whole way around. So I've got a few, you know, lands clear in the background, a few things to move down the bottom, like the Ever Forge and a Crucible and that. So I'll do that in the background. I'll put the two doors on as well. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Washing. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the last Horde episode. If you did, thank you very much for watching. It was a great, great Horde. Really enjoyed it. The giveaway for that Horde will be the beginning of the next Horde. So seven days in game from now, which is about a week or two for you. Um, but yeah, £20 Amazon voucher or Steam voucher. Just, just let me know if you win. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to level up and I'll see you in the next episode. Crucible, Advanced Bellows. Alfred advanced bellows in there. One door. Two door. All we need now is resources to put in the forges. <laughs> Before we go, we have the mechanical parts, the springs, the short iron pipes, the headlights. We don't have electrical parts. The chassis, we have the forge. We don't have enough mechanical parts. Got duct tape, got leather. We need more electrical. So I think next episode, we must go on a grind electrical parts so we can make the jeep remind me oh crap i think that twice there <laughs>